and welcome to the second installment of the computer craft tutorial series. So in this video we're going to be making a disk drive and a floppy disk which will help us store files safely and uh, not run the risk of losing them and being able to get files from computers to turtles which will be very useful. So to make um, that's what we're going to make first. Let's make the uh, disk drive first. So this drive is um, almost the same as a monitor, or uh, sorry, the console, except you have two redstone instead of a glass panel and a redstone. So here's our disk drive. Um, and what you can do with this is you can place it right next to your computer. You can do it on the right hand side, the top, or the left, or the bottom, if you like. I think you can even place it at the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, and when now when we enter our computer, you can see all the old stuff um, still here. I wonder if I can do clear on this. Wow, that works. Okay, awesome. So, um, yeah, to access the disk drive, we can do ls again. And as you can see here now, we have absolutely nothing. We only have the old things from the previous tutorial. Um, and that's because there's no disk in the disk drive. If we right click on the disk drive, you can see here it's empty. Um, so what we need to do, we need to create a disk, a floppy disk to put on there. And to make a floppy disk, you need a piece of paper, a piece of redstone, and that's it. Floppy disk. Super cheap, super easy. Right, and we can right click on the disk drive and plonk that in there. And now, if we type ls, all of a sudden we have a folder called disk and let's check it out so disk there's nothing on there because it's new a new floppy drive that we haven't done anything with yet um, right what we can do we still have new f new f new file let's uh, see what's in there hi again okay good so let us uh, copy the file to disk. Plink. And let's check it out and see what's there. And there it is. It's on the disk now. So what you can do is eject right to eject the disk. This is kind of um, pointless because what you can also do is right click on it and just take it out like that. But if you want to be fancy, you know, you can do eject right. Um, and right being the location of the disk drive. If it was on the left hand side, you would have had to type um, eject left. So now um, we have this disk and we copied a file onto it. And I'm going to show you that um, the data, the file, is preserved even if you switch computers. So we're going to build another console. Now we're also going to build another disk drive. Uh, oops, need this. There we go. I'll put these on the other side of the room. Just keep it nice symmetrical. So, let's put the disk drive in here now. And we'll start this computer. It's a new one. Also has a disk, of course, now. So let's check it out. Disk, ls, and there it is. And if we edit it, Hi again. So it's the same file, copied it onto the disk drive. So what this does is it allows you to move files between computers really easily and also eventually once we get to it, um, put the files on a turtle. Um, so yeah, basically the only thing that this adds is an extra folder on your computer from which you can copy files to or from um, and it basically just acts as an extra folder on your on your computer. So that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial on disks and disk drive. It's not a massive uh, <laughs> massive tutorial. It's pretty simple. Um, and I think next next video we'll actually start programming and uh, getting onto the basics of that. So now you're all set. You have the basics of the commands on the computer and how to work with the disk drive and floppy disks. So see you next time.